everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jelena and this is Ballet for All. Today I bring you a new video for how to improve your toes, arches and points. This combination is going to be also using the bar and I hope that you guys do not get bored of using the bar. I'm a truly believer that the bar is the foundation for anything we want to do in our dance career. To work and improve any skill, I will always first give the opportunity and chance to work on the bar and then once that skill is kind of mastered or improved then I will recommend to use the center and if you go back to your dance class you will always notice that your teacher will or should bring you to the bar at least for 20 minutes before getting into center allegros or point work so you will always notice that and that's why I love to use the bar I believe that is our comfort zone and that we feel safe by having that leader support there. Now, my other tip when you are working on a foot and trying to gain a strength or flexibility or stretching your toes or your arches, I will always recommend you to really focus on what you are doing and work through your foot, feel your arches and stretching and moving and pushing forward anytime that you are doing it. Now, before doing these exercises, I will recommend you to go and check the link that I'm gonna leave for you in the description of this video for exercises to warm up and stretching your foot. This is a challenging routine, therefore go get warm and then come back. Say that, let's get to it. So this routine is a continuation of the video before this one. If you haven't seen that video, I would recommend you to stop. Go back and check those exercises because this is a continuation and it's challenging. Therefore, if you didn't work the muscles and the tips that I gave in the first video, this one is going to be even harder for you. So I would recommend to do that one before and this one after. And actually you could do one video and then the other one just to make a full routine for you. Let's get to it. First exercise in a first position. Now remember your body alignment. Sip in your glutes, belly inside, pelvis in a straight line with your spine, proud chest, long neck and chin. What we're going to do is exactly the first exercise of the other video, but using our turn out. Okay. Another thing that I would like to do here is to recommend you to go to my playlist on how to turn out and rotations. I have a lot of, lot of tips and how to work on your rotation that is actually coming from the hip joint and not from your knee or your ankles, okay? If you have any questions, go there to that playlist. You could find the answers there. Once again, let's get to it. First position and we are gonna work. Demi point, keep the line of your toes and your knee. Don't break your foot line, cycling or winging straight up and back. We are going to do four each foot. Let's do it together. Let my voice to guide me. Deep breath. Engage your core muscles, glute muscles, back muscles, and let's get to it. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we point, push and down. And left, then we point, push and down. Then we point, keep your turn out and down. Then point, turn out and down. Two more. One, sipping your glutes and down. And change. Open and press down. And press, push your arches forward and back. And last time, push, push and down. Awesome. Here it's very important to keep that alignment of the body and lifting your upper body to give hips room for that rotation that we want, okay? But I have everything in the other playlist. You just go later on and check. Second exercise, we are gonna add press of arches and then plie. 
we're gonna do four each leg and I'm gonna show you what I'm asking from you. One, plie, push, then you point, and down. Now sideways so you can see. Then you point, it doesn't break the line, stay there. Then you plie, keep glutes sit in, belly inside, the upper body goes up, then you point, and down. Okay, let's get to it. Let's do it together. Deep breath, belly inside, and let my voice to guide you. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we point, plie, push and press, and then we point, and change, and one, two, and up, and down of your body, one, plie, and stretch, down, and sip in your glutes, plie, and up, two more, let's go, one, plie, and feel your arches and your toes, and stretching, and up, one more, go, one, Plie, press, press, feel it, open, turn out, up, and go, and last time, one, and plie, and up, and down, great, these exercises are so good for improving even turn out control if you really focus on what we're doing, exercise number three, is going to be really challenging and it's gonna demand again from you a lot of control and strength of the muscles around your ankle. So we are going to do one demi plie, through demi point, keep that eight and up, up, up and down. We are going to do that only four times to begin with, if you see that it's too easy, you just get as many repetitions as you can. It's up to you. This time we're gonna do four. Let's do it together. Again. Para abajo. Five, six, seven, eight. Then we plie. Go and work through your arches. Stretch, control, control. Up and Turn out, then you plie, and work through, and then stretch up, and down, then you plie, work through, and up, and down, last time, sit in your glutes, plie, work through, and up, and down, awesome. Now, once again, if you see your ankles really shaking, that means what? Lack of a strain on all those muscles. Go and check my link for a strain exercises for your ankles. <laughs> Last exercise, let's get to it. And it's gonna be the reverse of the third exercise. Exactly four, what we're going to do is up, Plie, open, turn out, look how my feet are shaking, lack of a thread, and up. We are going to do that four times. Get ready, and let's do it. Five, six, seven, eight. Releve, plie, through, and open, up. One more time, keep going, up. Open, turn out, glutes, pelvis, down and up. Releve, plie, open, turn out, keep it, down, stretch, releve, keep the turn out, down and up. Thank you very much for joining me in this video today. If you are new, remember to subscribe. Click the little bell right beside the subscription button so every time that I upload a video, you get a direct notification. 
Now check out the links that I left for you on the comments of this video so you can check and if you have any other questions, there you go. If you have anything else that you would like me to work or you would like to give you some tips or exercises, leave a comment below. I will check and I will be more than happy to help you to improve your skills. Once again, thank you very much and see you next time.